Due to the COVID-19, various types of meetings moved to the online environment and are now mostly conducted through Zoom. Classes, lectures, business meetings, and even conferences such as the 2021 Kylie Breaking Work are done through video conferencing. However, in Zoom, users are shown only up from the shoulder in small rectangular frames. Therefore, it is hard to grasp nonverbal expressions such as hand gestures and body languages. In fact, in the survey that we conducted, participants complained that online meetings are much less satisfactory and engageable. One of the main reasons for this result was the limitation in icons. According to studies by Xiao Kang Lo and Dirks et al., visual aids such as icons play a significant role in video-mediated communications. However, in Zoom, only a finite set of icons is provided, which is not sufficient to satisfy the user needs. Thus, this study explores a design direction for a better icon system using a participatory design approach to best understand and fulfill the needs of users. In the main study, we planned a real online brainstorming session with participants familiar with online design cooperative works. To allow participants to create icons that reflect their needs instantaneously, we adopted the paper prototyping method. We provided a toolkit consisting of pens and papers for designing desired types of icons and an acrylic board in front of laptops for attaching those icons. After iterations of designing and modifying icons, participants conducted an online brainstorming through Zoom using icons they designed themselves. As a result, we classified the functions of the icons designed in the main study into six categories. Reaction icons were used to convey opinions on the speaker's statement. Speaking order icons were used to form a queue of participants who wanted to speak next. Request icons were useful to request a specific action from others. Status icons were used to express the states or behaviors of participants. Excuse icons were used to ask others for an understanding during the conversation. Indicate icons were helpful for calling or indicating specific participants in the conversation. Three interesting effects of user-designed icons were discovered through the study. First, turn-taking became more efficient. Second, plentiful emotion could be expressed. And third, states that were difficult to notice were revealed. First, turn-taking became more efficient through the free combination of icons. Specifically, by combining speaking order and indicate icons, a virtual queue was created. For instance, when two participants, red and yellow, used the next icon at the same time, Red added an indicate icon showing Yellow's name to express that she will speak after Yellow. Later on, other participants started following this method, and at last a virtual queue for the conversation was created. This significantly reduced the time previously wasted in determining the speaking order. Although Zoom currently provides a raise hand icon for turn taking, this icon becomes meaningless when multiple participants raise hands, for it cannot show the specific speaking order. The unrestricted use of user-designed icons can prevent such discomforts and confusions. Second, users were able to express plentiful emotions through the diversity of icon shape and size. All these icons were used to express agreement or disagreement on the speaker's opinion. With user-generated icons, participants could express their degree of agreement exactly as they wanted to convey. Currently, Zoom includes only a finite set of icons with fixed shape and size. Therefore, users cannot react dynamically and it is hard to express their emotions fully. With the user-generated icons, users were able to express a broader range of emotions. Lastly, subtle states of users were revealed through new types of icons. There are often misunderstandings because it is difficult to grasp users' current states or actions in Zoom. However, using thinking or I am typing icons, participants can show that they are not doing something else but are concentrating on the meeting. Thus, speakers can be assured that others are paying attention. In conclusion, user-generated icons with various shapes and sizes helped enhance the effectiveness and the utility of icons for video communication. This study suggests a design direction for a new icon system and inspires various icon designs that reflect deeper user needs. We expect that a new icon system that ensures variety and freedom will be the key to enhancing the overall mood and quality of the future online communication.